All right, guys, let's see how we can solve question 39 from the first chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook, Mechanics and Materials. And we have a link BC that is six millimeters thick and is made of a steel with 450 megapascal ultimate strength in tension. And what should be its width W if this structure is being designed to support a two kilonewton load P with a factor of safety of three? So we need to figure out the width of this link BC, which is made of steel. And the way we're going to solve it is going to start with the free body diagram of the member ACD in order to find the force in uh, member BC. So let's let's do that. We're going to do the free body diagram of ACD. So this will be the member. We have a joint and we have a pin at A support which means we have both x and y component a x a y let's call our x and y in here we have the member force in the member bc we can call it fbc and we also have force p in here and from the question we know this angle in here is 90 degrees and the quickest way since we are in equilibrium to find the unknowns in here so we are interested in fbc we're going to use our moment equation about point a uh, we know when we are in equilibrium we have sum of all forces equal zero and same for the moment um, we have a separate channel for engineering mechanics uh, you can find a link in the description below if you guys are interested in that course too you can check it out so here we have the moment of the force bc as we can see the moment is in this direction so it's a counterclockwise moment so it's positive fbd times the distance vector which is what we have from here to here for 80 millimeter and um, i'm not going to do the unit conversion because it will be canceled out at the end but we can do unit conversion and we also have the moment of the force p which if you look at it it will be in this direction so it's a clockwise moment so negative p times this is the line of action and we're interested in this distance which is 600 so times 600 equals zero again we are in equilibrium so we know our p uh is designed to support 20 kilonewton so we have the p we can find fbc pretty easy in here don't know why i put fbd in here it's fbc which will be 600 times force p 20 times uh 1000 in order to get it in newton and again the reason i didn't do unit conversion in here because we have both millimeter and the top and bottom of the ratio so it will be canceled out so let's calculate this so 600 times 20 times 1000 divided by 480 so that's going to be 25 thousand newtons for 25 times 10 to the 3 so now that we have force bc and if we get back to the question we have a factor of safety of 3 and we know factor of safety is equal to the ultimate force in here over the force that we found so the ultimate force in here would be 3 times fbc 25 times 10 to the 3 which will be 75,000 no. So another information that we have in the question is the ultimate strength, which is 450. So the ultimate strength is equal to ultimate force over the area. So if you want to find the area in here, we have the ultimate force divided by the ultimate strength. So 75,000 Newton over 480, 450 megapascal. So 450 times 10 to the 6 pascal uh, since we have newton the uh, numerator we need pascal which is uh, basically newton per meter squared in order to cancel out and that way we can find the area in meter squared unit so if we want to find the area in here we basically have 450 divided by 1000 so that's going to be 167 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared and this is equal to the area of the rectangle so the area that we are talking about is the area of this cross section which will be a rectangle one side is 6 which is the thickness and the width is w that we need to figure out 
so the area is basically 6 times W, but keep in mind that our 6 is in millimeter and the area that we have in here is based on meter square. So we have 0 0.006, that way we have one side in meter and we're going to get our W in meter too. So W would be or basically that value divided by 0 0.006. So it's going to be 0 0.027. A meter, and if we want to report it in millimeter, we're going to have 27.8 millimeter, which is going to be the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We're covering different textbooks in this channel, and as I mentioned, we have a separate channel specifically for engineering mechanics. I'm going to put the link in the description below if you guys are interested. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.